Hello everyone, welcome back to Shanky JRPGs, and welcome to another video from your favorite JRPG YouTuber. This is a bit of a serious one, but not too serious. Anyways, as you may have noticed, this past Friday was the first Friday since I started YouTube back in early June of 2023. It was the first week where there was not an upload. I did put out a community post advising why there wasn't an upload, but just in case you missed it, here I am, and I don't want to leave you all in the dark. Don't worry, it's nothing too serious. I'm not quitting YouTube or anything. I'm having a super fun time being able to nerd out about JRPGs on a regular basis. Anyways, stick around to hear what's going on. So, why the update? What's going on? Is everything okay? Yeah, everything is fine. To be completely upfront, it's a time management concern. If you've been around since I started back in June, I've been putting out a video a week talking about games I love, concerns with the industry, as well as top 10 lists. Don't get me wrong, I adore putting these together and I absolutely love putting my heart and soul into these videos. However, these videos are a passion project for me. I'm not doing it for compensation, I'm not doing it to prove a point. I am doing it because it's something I love doing. I like just sitting in front of the microphone and talking about whatever crosses my mind that day. However, while I do love doing this, it does take time and as someone who works a full-time job, has personal relationships to maintain, and is capturing all his own footage, is getting to a point where I am starting to feel incredibly rushed. Feeling like all my free time has to be dedicated to playing the game I want to cover, while I game almost all day in my free time anyways. There is a difference between playing a game for the fun factor and playing a game for the sole purpose of creating content for it. I do not want to put out a subpar video or rush through the games affecting my enjoyment of them as a whole. I like to take my time with games and as I cover RPGs, playing a game and creating a video for it within a week is a bit of a time crunch. Because as you know, RPGs can go anywhere from 30 hours up to 100 hours. Keep in mind, my channel is all done on my own. Outside of my art, which is done by Cyberchu, you should definitely check her out, she has great content. I'll share her link in the video description. Anyways, as I was saying, outside of my art, I do everything myself. I record all my own footage, I do all my own editing, I create my own thumbnails. Much like the original Dragon Quest, I don't have a party or team, this is a solo adventure behind the scenes. In the end, I love playing games, and I do not want to rush through them in an effort to push out content to you all. I want to put out the best videos possible because I love seeing everybody's thoughts on them, be them positive thoughts or negative thoughts. Just waking up in the morning and seeing a new comment on a video really just sets the whole mood for the day. Anyways, so what are the plans for the channel? How is it going to change? What do you have planned for the near future? Well, let's get into that. Currently, I am playing through Eternal Sonata on the PS3. so. Expect a review on that. In addition to that, I did pick up Star Ocean Second Story R, and I really want to cover that after I finish Eternal Sonata. And my Tales of series reviews? They are continuing, and I will be doing a series ranking video after I finish my reviews for the entire series. In addition to that, I have been talking with a fellow JRPG creator, you may know him as Colin Lack. I am in a collaboration video with him coming out in the next week or so. I will link his channel in the description below. As for my video schedule, that's where things have to change. At the current time, I have been putting out a video every Friday at 6am Pacific Time. And I feel for my own mental stability and stress level, that is going to have to be cut back. How much it's going to be cut back is going to be a bit of a trial and error process. I am going to aim for one video every other week, and if I'm not feeling rushed, I'll aim for that schedule. That being said, if there is a piece of JRPG news that comes out in the middle of the week, I'll definitely throw a quick video together about that, but for my main plan videos, let's aim for a video every other week. Sound good? Alright, excellent. Now, I would love for some input from you all. Most of the videos I've put together have been solely my own thoughts. I have had a few suggestions that are on the list, such as a Threads of Fate review suggested by Kafumaki. Is there anything else you, as the community, would like to see me talk about? It could be a game review of something that you adore, or something about the JRPG gaming industry that doesn't get talked about enough. I'm always looking forward to ideas. I'm by no means short of ideas, but I want to know what you all want to see. Anyways, I just want to extend my thanks to you all. 
thank you so much for supporting my videos, especially that Disgaea 7 review. You all had that climb so substantially, and it brought in so many new community members. I only keep doing this because you are all so much fun to interact with and you really brighten my day. Please keep an eye on the channel and look forward to future videos. I know this sounds super cringy, I, but 100% I absolutely love having you guys here. I appreciate you all. Thanks for listening to a dork just vent out his love and adoration for the genre that is JRPG. Anyways, until the next video, have fun and happy gaming.